All right, my friends, how are you today? Hopefully everyone's having a really beautiful weekend, right? A lot of cool energy going from that moon in Gemini over to Cancer. And now here we're getting ready for this new moon happening on Monday. It's going to happen at 1.32 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Right, So the moon and the sun are both meeting up in the sign of cancer. Now remember the moon rules or is associated with the sign of cancer. Okay, The sun is associated with the sign of Leo. Leo is that fire, that passion, that drive, where the moon is our emotions. All right? this, is, this is not the physical body, this is the emotional body. Where the sun is the physical body and really more represents the ego. The ego self representation of who I am. Right. So, you know, who I am, my emotional body versus who, again, how I show myself, present myself to the world, right? And that's like that fifth house Leo energy as well as 10th house career public image. Now, this new moon, this is the second cancer new moon of this year, okay? Very powerful as we had a new moon solar eclipse at zero degrees of cancer last month, all right? Um, so this particular new moon is about as perfectly opposition to Saturn as you can get, all right? So here's Saturn at 2839. We've got the sun and the moon here in Cancer at 2826, okay? This is about as perfect, as, you know, as we see for these kinds of uh, oppositions. Either way, 28 degrees, 28 degrees, almost to the space minute, right? Uh, this, is, this is a big deal. What this moon wants us to say what this moon is trying to teach us, why we have two of these moons this year, is extremely important. And, and the word for the week, the word for the next six months is surrender. Okay, Every single day, we must surrender to the will of the moon. We surrender. It doesn't matter how much we want to drive forward. This is ego self. Does, I, I was up painting my kitchen and living room the other day. I'm going to tell you. I'm the worst at painting. I'm an artist, and I am the worst at painting colors of a house. Like, I painted it, and I hate it. Anyway, that's my problem. Either way. So, emotional ego, or ego says finish the job, right? Let's finish till we get done. Let's keep hammering something out. And now it's 4 o'clock in the morning, and I'm still painting, all right? And then, and then eventually what happens is my body takes it, you know, the, the, the moon takes over. I have to surrender and my body just fails. I'm done and, and I lay down and go to sleep, right? And we can see this, we can see this as children. It doesn't matter how much fun you've had, you can be out and playing in the sun all day, you can be playing in the ball pit at McDonald's and then once that moment hits, it's time to surrender. We surrender and we submit, right? And we allow that nurturing aspect of the, the moon's energy to take over, right? Where the sun is like, this is my emotional light. This is my light. The moon is saying like, I'm going to take over for you when you can't shine anymore. The moon does not emit any of its own light, right? It's only reflecting that of the sun. So the sun is the ego saying, I'm here to shine. And the moon says, I need to rest. I need you to surrender. I need you to submit. I need you to relax. Okay, so surrendering back into our emotional body. So as humans, we get so wrapped up, right? We get wrapped up in what's going on, trends. We get wrapped up in what's happening socially, politically, movements going on. And it's a sense of ego that's driving, okay? It's so important that this cancer, the second cancer new moon of the year is saying, like, we have to surrender. And what? You know, we've got Mercury in the sign of cancer as well, saying this is about communication, you know, we get so in our egos, even if a healthy ego, we get so in our egos that we're not communicating always from a place of compassion. We're not always communicating from the place of surrender. You know, and that's so, so, so important for the remainder of July leading into August that we have that gentle approach, uh, gentle communication that we're opening up to a place of vulnerability when we communicate. Because this, here's the truth. We, we hide in our fear, you know, and, and I talk about this all the time when, when things go into cancer, they go into hiding, you know, we, we want to take a, an emotional inventory, right? How do I feel about this? How, how do I want to you know, figure this out or, or decipher my feelings, decipher my emotions, you know, uh, Mercury still square to Chiron. 
uh, they're saying I have to take action in order for things to come out in my life. I can't sit in, in you know, wherever, in a corner or in the middle of a room and sit and dwell and think about things and think about things and think about things that's stirring, you know. Uh, and how often times do we want to communicate? Do we want to say something, but it's our fear that holds us back, right? So this is, this is reminding us to surrender that fear, surrender that fear. So just as much as the ego self is saying, keep going, keep going, keep going, you know, finish the job, paint, paint the kitchen, paint the living room, you know, there's a point where body surrenders, okay? And the same goes here with fear. Where in our fear, what's going on in our lives of things that we want to shine our light on, we want to express our emotions, we want to tell that individual that we love them, we want to go after this job, we want to go after and do this thing, but it's our own fear that holds us back. And, and just as much as we surrender and are surrendering and we're being taught to surrender this year, uh, it's surrendering our fears too. It's surrendering uh, the things that are holding us back right and who would i be if i didn't have those things if if i were to if i were able to surrender my fears if i'm able to lay them to rest while i have things to do so this is the balance between that sun ego expression of emotions and moon you know what i need and again mercury being there as well saying i have to communicate this stuff even if it's difficult even if it's challenging Right? I must surrender my ego. I must surrender my will and come to this vulnerable, open place of communication, vulnerability. Now, Saturn in this, okay, the opposition. Saturn directly opposite of this new moon is putting pressure on. Okay? And this again is is until the 25th, we have this Saturn, septile to Neptune, Neptune septile to Uranus, Uranus septile to Saturn. Okay. This is make it real, break free, imagine it, dream it, will it change. Okay. Change the current situation, change the environment, change the tradition. Okay. And as well, we have this sun moon connection, not only opposite to Saturn, but opposing Pluto as well. Okay. Pluto about change, death and transformation right? Now we have this new moon, this new beginning, emotional new beginning, surrendering my fears, letting go and opening up. You know, we get scared when we put ourselves out there. I'm no different. I am no different. Doing this channel was frightening to me. There are still days that, that it's weird, right? It's very vulnerable to put ourselves out there and to do something, to say something, right? And now we also have this, this little semi-sextile between the, this new moon in Cancer and the North Node saying, seek new information, seek new opportunities, seek this new direction, seek this new knowledge. Not everything that we know that has built our, our, our foundation, our, our building blocks of life is 100% accurate. And there are things that we can move out of the way. This wall is not as permanent as we think, right? So it's like seeking this new information allows for this emotional transformation to happen. And as well as, as this seeking new information. So we're having this stuff up here saying like, again, our daily practice, our daily focus, what we're doing, how we're doing it when we wake up in the morning to how we choose to go to bed at night and everything that happens in between uh, is playing a role on our emotional perspective of our lives, right? And it's, again, doing that work, doing that work. I had to move a couple thousand pounds of rocks the other day. I'm not kidding you. I had two friends help me out. None of us wanted to do it. As soon as we saw this pile of rocks, we're like, oh my God, there's no way. And there's these little rocks like this too. I still have blisters all over my hands from the shovel. But it's like none of us wanted to do it. But yet after we got done, there was this huge, you know, we were exhausted, but this great sense of joy and, and this like, yeah, I got my workout in for the day. And it was, it was overcoming of something. Emotionally, we saw the, this mound and said, don't want to be here. Don't want to do it. You know, got to help mom out. And friends are helping me out, help mom out and me. So it's like, you know, it's this lovely thing. But then the reward of doing it after it's done, the emotion, the original emotional response was no. You know, then the gratification afterward was just like, oh, I feel great. You know, 
So it's like pushing ourselves, and that's this little bit of a square too between Mars. You know, saying take action. Don't 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 be emotionally um, burdened and weighed down. You know, with what's going on right now. Feel it. Take inventory of our emotions. Allow ourselves to feel whatever's happening. If we're depressed, it's okay. These are these are, and it is. You know, these are these are uh, emotions we're allowed to express ourselves um, that give us answers to where we want to go. Right? There's always there's always answers in all these emotions that we're feeling. So as our emotions and our ego are lining up on this Monday, again, shining the light, this is a continuation uh, to the eclipse that happened last month and shining its way for the next six months of our year is to be emotional, be compassionate, be vulnerable, be open, and not speaking from up here and down here from a place of not having enough or of so much, but just that beautiful heart-centered space and surrendering our, our fears, surrendering our insecurities, surrendering those things that aren't there. You know, it's like I, I'm letting go of whoever's not the cheerleader on my team. You know, I mean, it's my own mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm surrendering. I'm letting go of that, um, the negative cheerleader in my brain. You know, only A-listers go Aaron. You know what I'm saying? So it's only A-listers go you, go team, um, rooting you on. All right, so it's a beautiful new moon. This is exciting energy that's going on here. Great change is coming, transformation. I'm excited for you. Again, hopefully you had a great weekend and a beautiful start to a, uh, an excellent week ahead. Thank you as always. I'll see you tomorrow.